Hey everyone, so today I am bringing you a hair and makeup two-in-one video on this really fresh and radiant makeup look and it was based off this picture I saw of Candice Swanepoel. It's just really beautiful, fresh and actually really, really simple and easy to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. So the first step is prepping the skin. I'm using a primer spray, just spritzing that over my face and making sure that's soaked in really nicely. Next, I'm taking this Master Prime by Maybelline and I'm just applying that all over my face just to even out my skin and make my foundation last a longer amount of time. You guys know the drill. And then for my skin, I want it to look flawless but still kind of natural. So I'm using the Skin Foundation by Bobbi Brown and I'm just applying that all over my face. I'm not using a really thick layer. I'm just gonna kind of use my concealer to cover up any more imperfections I have that the foundation doesn't cover by itself. Under my eyes, I'm going to use my current favorite LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just dabbing that in and blending it out with my finger just to make sure that, you know, it's nice and even. And then I'm using this Laura Mercier um, little duo. It's like a concealer and a powder in one. And I'm just using the concealer to kind of even out my skin tone and conceal any imperfections I still have. And then this powder is just going under my eyes to set the concealer in place so it doesn't crease. And then before I set the rest of my face, I'm going with a little bit of a stick blush, like a cream blush. You can use just powder if you want, but I just love that glowy look that Candace is wearing. So I wanted to create that and cream products are the best for this. So I'm using that and then just setting everything with a really small amount of my MAC Studio Fix powder. As soon as I'm finished with my powders, I'm using a little bit of setting spray on my face just to soak up any excess and make sure that my complexion looks nice and dewy still. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just using my usual, my MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel stuff. And then I'm going to use my absolute favorite thing ever, my L'Oreal Brow Plumper, just to make sure that my brows look nice and set and last all day, yeah. I'm always so messy and I always get it all over my eye, but we'll clean it up with the eye primer. This one's tinted, so I'm just kind of like, you know, concealing my mistakes and also putting that all over my lid just so that my eyeshadow has something to stick to. And the first eyeshadow I'm taking is this really light kind of whitish creamish color. And that's just going all over the lid and all over the brow bone. This eye look is so easy for you to recreate. And then I'm taking a warm brown, just a few shades darker than my natural skin tone and just adding that into the crease to add back that dimension. Um, and yeah, that's basically that. And then for the really bright inner corner, you just want a shimmery light kind of whitish color. And I'm putting that quite far across the lower lash line and then blending it out and making sure it's really concentrated on the inner corner. And then the last eyeshadow you need is a black, just to smudge under the outer edge of your lower lash line, just to kind of elongate your eye a little bit. That sounded really weird. And then for the eyeliner, this is like the crucial part to the look. You kind of want to make it thicker at the outer edge of your eye and then really thin on the inner edge. And I'm terrible with gel eyeliner, so I apologize if this doesn't look perfect. I did my best. But yeah, that's all you've got to do. Of course, just go in with any mascara you want. I used Roller Lash today, and it kind of made my eyelashes clumpy, which I wasn't happy about. I don't know why. I don't know. Like, it's not old. I don't know. Anyway, I'm using some false lashes. These are the Flirt by Exo Beauty, and they will just help to give a little bit of volume and drama on the outer edges. And then the last step is to just put a little bit of white eyeliner in your waterline, and that'll just open up your eyes and make them nice and bright. Okay, so I decided to add a little bit more blush, so I'm doing that now, and it looks super heavy i know but just wait until you finish with your highlighting and everything you'll be surprised how youthful and fresh it looks it doesn't look over the top at all um, i'm using a little bit of bronzer under my cheekbones just to kind of contour a little tiny bit the look isn't overly contoured anyway and then highlighter is so important for this look so i'm using a cream first just on the top of my cheekbones and then i'm going in with this really 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 pretty elf highlighter i think it's pink tastic or something like that um, and then I'm just going over those areas as well as like the tip of my nose, above my lip, you know the drill. And then to finish off 
your makeup look, you just want to put on your favorite lip color. This eye look will go with any color lip you can imagine. Um, I just used a soft pink like what Candice wore. I'll write what I used down below. And then moving on to the hair, today I am using the Octo Wand by Numi. And as you can probably guess, it has eight different attachments, which is perfect because you won't need another curling set forever because, you know, it's got everything you need and the quality is really, really good. Um, I'm clipping in some extensions because I want my hair to be longer like hers because <laughs> my hair isn't that long and then I'm just brushing through my hair because we want our hair to be nice and smooth before we start curling it just to get that really soft bouncy effect. So the way you use these is you just pop in the attachment and then you can lock it in place by rotating it and this set comes with a glove. You need the glove. I burn myself every time I don't wear the glove. So wear the glove, trust me. Um, I split my hair in half at the back and then I just take a little section, brush it out and twist it around. And then the essential part to the hair is letting the curl cool down in your hand before you drop it, just like I showed you just there. And what this does is it kind of makes the curl um, a little bit curlier and it also makes the curl a lot bouncier. With each section I take I'm curling away from my face as well so keep that in mind. I've done my hair very similar to this in other videos it's just super super easy and really time efficient as well it doesn't take long to do your whole head at all. Also I love these curlers like Numi curlers are my favorite because the curls last forever in my hair. Like I'll curl my hair one day and the next day my hair looks just as good. So that's important to me because it means I don't have to use heat on my hair every single day because you know that stuff is damaging. When you get to your front sections, make sure you don't start curling from the root. Start about halfway down just so it frames your face a little bit nicer. You want it to look kind of loose at the front. And then once you've done that first half of your hair, you want to switch your glove to the other hand so your hand is safe from the heat and then continue to curl away from your face. Just do the same thing in the opposite direction. You guys already know how much I love Numi curling irons and if you've been curious to try one for yourself, I do have some discount codes here for you guys. So on the Numi website, you can use the code SWEETKIWIS and this will give you the Octo one for only $138 and that'll give you a free primer. Um, or there's another code called Fruit Bowl, and that'll get you any curling wand for $39. I'll write these codes down below in the down bar along with all of the products I used today in case you're interested. And then to finish off my hair I'm using a little bit of a serum and this will just help to tame any flyaways and make my hair nice and beautiful and shiny like Candice's because her hair is like goals. And that is the completed look. I'm just brushing through my hair a little bit just to make sure that the curls are nice and soft looking. That is it. Like this look is so easy you guys and you'll probably have a bunch of products at home that you can use to create the same look. You don't even have to use the exact same makeup products that I used. I know this look isn't overly unique but I've had so many requests just to do a really simple radiant bright makeup look so hopefully this ticked those boxes for you guys. Remember to check the down bar for more information. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! <laughs> um, mascara, better than sex, Joe face, what is it Joe? What does it say? Two. <laughs> cool. I need to do the bottoms a little. Did you angry at me for making you do Yes, that? I don't want to do these. <laughs> Put over in here. Oh yeah. Since we have purple eyes, I'm gonna do, can I do purple like, like, 